Spirit, one God, Amen. Did you know that there's an ongoing fundraiser happening right now for one of our most sacred monasteries back home? Have you ever heard of the Saint Dumana Garam that is located in Erta? If not, by the end of this video you will have learned more about the history of this Garam, the impact our mothers have in our beautiful and rich faith, and in the lives of those who are most faithful. You will also understand why this cause is very important for the future of this beautiful place. Historically, the monasteries have been the source of our Tawhedo identity and continue to be places for Orthodox instructions for new monks, nuns, priests, and diacons. They're the pillars for the sound and correct teaching of our church. Eritrean Tawhedo monasteries specifically have been one of the first of their kind in African continent. As a continuation of this rich history, the convent of St. Dimiana, known as Devra de Nagel, Sa'id Qaddis Dimiana, opened in 2016 in Asmara, Eritrea. Above all, the goal of the convent is to live a life of prayer. There are holy places where our fathers and our mothers pray for our world, our country, and our safety on a daily. Many faithful have attested the impact of our mother's prayers, including married couples who had difficulty conceiving a child over many years. But by the prayers, fasting, and tzavel that was provided, many were able to bear children. The nuns also pray for us daily, working nine hours a day, making many different items for our churches, such as sewing clothes for mazamran, vestments for diakons, priests, and other clergies, all the way up to our patriarch, curtains with different icons on them, painting and carving wooden crosses, translating different spiritual books, and finally, teaching different religious courses. Obviously, these tasks require ample space, and with the current demand for these services, they don't have enough room to keep up with the current need and continue producing resources. 1 John chapter 3, verse 17 to 18 says, But whoever has the goods of the world and sees his brother in need and shuts his heart away from him, how does the love of God abide in him? My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 to 7. But this I say, he which sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he which sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Let each one give as he purpose in his heart not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Finally, as St. Damiana said, I am the maidservant of my Master, my Savior Jesus Christ, and His good Father, the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Trinity. Him I confess, and upon Him I depend, and in His name I die, and for Him I live forever. So we are asking all lovers of the church to help build the convent. We expect each one of you to share this video and go donate one dollar. Imagine if all 6,000 of you donated just one dollar, it would make us significantly closer to our goal. <laughs>